Welcome to Epic Stocks. Today we're going to review the loser of the day, HLBZ. Well, you can see it had a high in pre-market at 10.99 and a low in market of 7.14. If you bought at the top and sold at the bottom, you would incur a 35% loss today. Uh, it's easy to sell when things are going bad, but if it's a good company, you should probably hold on. It's just pulling back and should return back to normal levels. All right, let's get into it. Electric Scooter Company, HLBZ, recently uh, just took the, the NASDAQ and uh, it's looking good. Except for the pullback, it had a huge high, huge high on Friday. Monday pulled back 35%. Today's pulled back also. But let's take a look. Uh, there's actually no news. They don't have any price targets. But let's take a look. Let's keep going. Here's some information about the company. And, and here's the news. Talks about who they are and uh, what happened. Doesn't really say what happened. I just think they got overbought a little bit too aggressively. And that's the cause of the pullback in the last two days. As you can see on the monthly, it's a brand new stock. It had a lot of consolidation there uh, under its IPO, a shell company basically, a acquisition company opens up and, and then waits for a company to uh, to go public and, and it, it takes them over. It, it puts them inside their IPO shell. You can see the charts aren't really showing a huge amount. Uh, luckily, it's been on the market for a while so we do have some indicators but let's take a look at some of this volume today I didn't trade the stock but uh, sure there are some people that are maybe a few bag holders uh, wondering what happened how do you how do you get a hold of a great stock and then it dumps on you you know so these are the lessons you have to learn when you're trading stocks my friends here's a great look at the stock uh, where it popped up and then how it came back down. Really kind of a pump and dump, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. If you're a big chart enthusiast, you can see the, the, v, uh, the, the VWAP has got it in bullish mode. 